Hi class, welcome to our module six for applied economics. Our module six is all about social economic impact study. Okay, so let's take a look at our objectives. So we have three objectives for this module. The first one is we are going to identify and explain the various social economic factors affecting business industry, analyze and evaluate the viability of a business and its impact on community. And we are also going to try and formulate recommendations and strategies on how to minimize and maximize a business's negative and positive impact. So let's jump into it. First, let's define what social economic is. When we talk about social economics, this is the social science that studies how economic activity affects and is shaped by social processes. Now, take note of this, guys, that when we talk about social pro processes, this is the ways in which individuals and groups interact and establish social relationships. So social relationships, just like operation, conflict, competition, and accommodation so this social processes that we are talking about okay it is uh shaping okay the economic activity okay so when we talk about economic activity this is how we provide we make we buy or sell commodities or services by people to satisfy day-to-day -day the needs of life Okay, so that is what social economic is all about. Again, it is a social science that studies on how economic activity like providing, making, buying, or selling commodities or services by people affects and is shaped by social processes, which is which means that the way on how individuals, us, like the consumers and groups like businesses interact and establish social relationships okay now what is social economic impact study it is a, it studies that uh, evaluates the impact developments on communities social and economic welfare okay how do we measure this so there would be changes in income and employment uh, public services housing standard of living of the community so the goal of social economic study is to generally bring about or cause changes about socioeconomic development, usually by improvements in metrics such as GDP, gross domestic product, life expectancy, literacy, and even levels of employment. Socioeconomic factors are characteristics that define the quality of life in a society. They influence the behaviors, attitudes, trends, tastes, and lifestyles of individuals okay right so what are the different social and economic factors affecting businesses because from from uh, from the previous modules that we have studied we have been talking about businesses right so uh, there are different social and economic factors affecting businesses so what are these so the first one, let's talk about the different social factors affecting businesses. The first one is population growth rate. When we talk about population, it often takes advantage of the social factors. The supply and demand of goods and services in an economy can change with the structure of business. Decline in birth rates means the demand will decrease. It also indicates greater competition as total consumers fall. Okay. The next one is changes in social preferences. Social preferences relating to fashion or fad are continuously changing. If a business refuses to adapt to changing social preference, its sales will decline and business will fail. Okay, So if businesses uh, refuses to change, so siyempre, the sales would go down and then the business would fail. So that's one of the social factors also. Another one is health consciousness. So because we had the pandemic, right? Um, more of the people now are very health conscious. This is also one of the social factors affecting a business. Social factors change people's attitude. A good example is people's attitude towards healthy diet. Because of this, businesses like fitness center and demand for organic food changes. So there's an increase in 
fitness centers and demand for organic food because of health consciousness. Another social factor is values, beliefs, and practices. A business must be aware of the people's social preferences regarding its needs and wants. This preference and needs and wants will be influenced by a population value, beliefs, and practices. Like for example, yung mga paniniwala natin, di ba? So, di ba, kunyari, um, kapag uh, si Mana Santa, we are not to eat uh, any meat, di ba? So, that's part of our beliefs and practices. Okay? Right. So, another one, social factor, is also education. So, a society that values higher education will provide a better workforce that will lead to more productivity and innovation. Another social factor is work ethics. Hard work ethics or work ethic is a value based on hard work and diligence. Businesses believe in the requirement of hard work and its ability to enhance character. A community that values hard work, ethics, businesses will have access to productive workers. So kapag daw maganda yung work ethics ng isang employee, productive sila. Another social factor affecting a business is attitudes towards investment. Okay. A society that supports investment in infrastructure will have access to good transportation and communi communication system. So, syempre, kapag uh, yung mga uh, tao, they are supporting investment in infrastructure, there's going to be good transportation and communication system between the businesses. Not only within the businesses, but also to the consumers. Another one is attitude toward green and ecological products. Consumers with positive attitudes towards green and ecological products are more likely to purchase green and ecological products. Okay, so those are all the social factors. We have population growth rate, changes in social preference, health consciousness, values, beliefs, and practices, education, work ethics, attitude towards investment, and attitude towards green and ecological products. Okay, yung number eight, di ba? Uh, ako part ako niyan kasi we are using, uh, siguro mga 80-80% of the time we are using cloth diapers kasi nga we are towards go green and ecological products. Uh, hindi pa kami nakakapag 100% full blast kasi nga, uh, number one, I also work. So, meron akong mga times na kay, I wanted to really rest. Kaya, uh, nag-shift kami diaper, uh, on and off kami ng cloth diaper, pero mostly talaga cloth diaper kami. Okay? So, aside from that, what are the different economic factors naman affecting businesses? If the economy is going through a recession, recession stage, businesses decline due to lower demand. That's just normal. Uh, kagaya nung nangyari ngayon, di ba? Because of the pandemic, businesses declined. Uh, there has been lower demand dahil marami na close the businesses. Okay, mga tao takot na lumabas ngayon, di ba? But if the company is going through prosperity or peak period, demand increases. And that means it will need higher profits and revenue to businesses. So what are the different economic factors affecting business? So the first one is inflation rate. Higher inflation rate leads to decrease in the purchasing power of money for the people, resulting to lower demand for goods and services. Okay, di ba dati? mababa na ang power ang buying power ng uh, purchasing power ng pera ngayon dati kapag meron kang 500 pesos you you can buy a lot of things the you, you you could almost uh, fill out the uh, grocery cart but now half lang 500 kulang pa diba? so kapag ang mataas ang inflation rate natin mababa yung purchasing power ng pera so therefore Siyempre, iipitin na ng mga tao yung money nila. And the, the demand would go down. Okay? Next one is interest rates. Higher interest rates will lead to decrease in the total demand in the economy and very difficult for business to find cost customers who are willing and able to buy its products. Lower interest rates will lead to in an increase in the demand in the economy. Another one is unemployment rate. High level of unemployment will greatly affect businesses. Bakit? Because unemployed people will not have enough money to buy goods offered in the market. So, pag maraming tao walang trabaho, bababa ang demand kasi wala silang pambili. Okay? Another one is labor costs. High cost of labor, like salary and wages, will result to higher production costs. Higher production costs will also lead to higher prices of goods and services. So, therefore, 
uh, there would be lower demand and it will affect the business. Another economic factor would be taxes. Higher taxes will lead to decrease in take-home pay of an individual and decrease in the demand in the company, in the economy. Okay, so, syempre, pag mataas ang taxes, mas mababa yung maiuuwi na take-home. Kung baga, ang tawag namin dyan, mas mababa ang take-home. Diba? Mababa ang iti-take home sa sahod. Wala na matitira. Okay? So, those are the economic factors affecting businesses. Inflation rate, interest rate, unemployment level, labor costs, and taxes. Okay? Now, class, let's talk about socioeconomic impact on a business. Today, putting up a business is not just all about profits. Okay? Hindi naman laging pera, pera, di ba? But businesses nowadays is also concerned with its consumer's welfare, job creation, environmental issues, uplifting the quality of life, and even contributing to the economy. So let us now look at how businesses can impact the consumers, the suppliers, the investors, the governments, and even the household. So first one, let's talk about socioeconomic impact of the business on the consumers. A new business, especially one that is innovative and focused on bringing some new product or service to the market, is always welcome to the consumer who is looking value for his money? Okay, tatandaan yan. If the new business is selling a product that is, has a close substitute in the market, then the owner of the business will try his best to win the consumers away from the existing sellers by offering something that will benefit the buyers. Now, the question is, how can the new business accomplish this? One good way is to innovate the product. Come up with new features. Okay? So, kapag kasi... You innovate your product and you come up with new features like better appearance, new convenient way of making the product available, and new feature of or new ingredient. Of course, the consumers would, would always look for you, would, would choose you. Okay. Another one. Okay. So as since the new seller will try to attract the buyers, another strategy that could be adopted is to improve the quality of the goods, making it much higher than those already being sold in the market. Although this may seem high prices for better quality goods, this could cater to the market that is more after quality than low prices. Okay, now remember that as long as a new business can provide new goods and services, better quality of goods and more options, the consumers can benefit from it. But if the business comes up with low quality good and does not provide the consumer value for his money, then this business will have a negative impact on the market. Okay. Now, let's talk about impact on suppliers and investors. When we talk about socioeconomic impact of the business for the suppliers and the investors, if there's going to be a new business, this will also provide opportunities for suppliers and investors. If a new construction company, for example, is set up, then this opens opportunities for other businesses that will supply them with their needs, like tools, wood, cement, steel paint, nails, screws, and decorators. Many suppliers will not get a chance to sell to the newly established business, which means income for them. Another one is the demand for goods provided by the suppliers will also increase. These suppliers will now need to produce more of them and they will need to hire more workers who will earn wages from being employed. More capital will be needed to invest in the production of these tools and materials, generating again income for the economy, investors to get earns uh, to get earned returns on their investments with capital flowed back into more investments and then generating more income for the economy, thus leading to economic growth. Okay. Next class is let's talk about Socioeconomic impact of business, impact on the household. Okay, the government will also, oh, sorry, the government. Uh, the government will also benefit from the establishment of new businesses. So how? Through the revenues earned on fees collected from them and on taxes imposed on the incomes of the businesses. Okay, so two ways on how the government could also benefit in this uh, socioeconomic impact of the business is the number one, uh, through revenues earned on fees collected, tsaka sa taxes. 
So before a business can be set up, it has to meet requirements to start operating. So ano ano ba yung mga requirements na yan? The first one is the business owner has to apply to start its business. Licenses have to be obtained. Organizational fees have to be paid. On the municipal level, the local government earns revenue from these fees and licenses. So this means that money added to their local budget to provide social services to the community. For the development of the company, to pay salaries of local officials and workers, and also to maintain peace and order to subsidize public schools. Okay? So dun po napupunta yan, yung mga fees na binabayad na uh, mga businesses. On the other hand, on the national level, the government gets to impose taxes on the incomes earned by the businesses. Employees hired by these businesses also have to pay personal income taxes to the Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR. For employed workers naman, these taxes are regularly withheld by their employees and then remitted to the BIR. Okay? These tax revenues fuel development because they are used by the government for national activities and for budget allocations for its programs. So, doon ginagamit yung class ha, sa mga national activities tsaka para sa mga program ng government. The national government has revenues to finance its projects, to pay government officials, to build schools, to improve the military, to promote peace and order all over the country, to build housing for the poor, and to provide health services and improved welfare programs for the people. Okay, clear po tayo dyan, ha? Then, the next one is the impact on the household. Okay, sa mga tao, sa uh, sambayanan. Okay, new businesses mean employment opportunities for the Filipinos. Those who have jobs but are earning low wages may find better paying jobs with the new companies. Unemployed workers naman looking for work may have the chance of being employed by these companies. The pool of unemployed workers will definitely decrease. Being employed will enable them to buy their basic needs and even some luxuries. This means that their quality of life and their stand of, standard of living will improve. Okay? Acquisition of wealth and assets can now follow both for business owners and the employees they hire. So, dahil syempre, nagka-work na sila, uh, pwede na magkaroon ng wealth and assets, not only the business owners, but also the employees. The profits earned by the owners can be invested back in the business for expansion, or some can be withdrawn by the owners, which they can use to buy new cars or new houses. Success stories on television shows feature rags to riches stories of entrepreneurs who used to be very poor, but with hard work and persistence were able to make their businesses succeed, enabling them to send their children to good expensive schools, building big houses, and buying two or more cars housed in their garage. The owners, because of their success, managed to acquire wealth and buy assets which are fruits of their hard work. With a growing focus on persevering the environment for future generations, Businesses also get to contribute their share. So-called green structures for buildings are means to prevent further damage to the environment. Instilling the value of recycling and reusing of resources among employees and family members may also become the advocacy of these businesses. Spreading information on the dangers of global warming may be promoted by the business owners. Thus, businesses become instruments for society to have a better place to live in. Now, the last one, class, is impact on the community. When we talk about impact of the business to the community, we are talking about the corporate social responsibility or CSR of the businesses because this has become a trend among the industry. As a result of this, yung corporate social responsibility, corporations and even small businesses have increased their focus on projects that provide scholarships to the poor but deserving students, allocating get, uh, budgets for housing for low-income families such as participation in programs like the Gawad Kaninga, environmental protection including tree planting, elimination of pollution, and other environment-related programs. Communities benefit from businesses-sponsored activities that include sports fest and wellness programs, livelihood projects, microfinancing, and even medical and dental mission. So those are all the uh, impacts or socioeconomic impact of business to the different 
factors that we have talked about. So impact on the consumer, impact on suppliers and investors, the government, households, and even on the community. So guys, that's uh, pretty much everything for our mo uh, module six. So let's just keep in touch okay, for in our LMS about the uh, activity that I'm going to post there as well as the post assessment. Uh, please do not forget to submit all of your activities from module four, five, and then this one is module six. Thank you so much for listening to our lesson. If you have any further questions, you can just chat me in Facebook or in our LMS account. Thank you so much. This has been Coach RJ. Take care and stay safe.